Hivers. Welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stamp It Up demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. Today, we're going to be working with some brand new sneak peek products. Since I am an attendee to the On Stage at Home event, we were able to pre-order a whole suite of products back in October very very early and I've been holding on to this to show you this is the Dragon Garden stamp set It is a clean stamp set it has nine images two different um, dragonflies this one you can see you can color in this the body part this one it's already colored in and it is bundled with the dragonflies punch can you see that Okay, and also in this suite of products, we have some braided linen trim in mossy metal. Let's take that apart so you can see it. It's like the trim we already have. I think it's in a natural color, but this one is mossy metal. And it also comes with the cutest little trinkets. They're called the ladybug trinkets. Let me show you. They're super cute. And the last piece that we were able to order in this suite of products is some 6x6 six six designer series paper. I've already cut, cut into mine. I've been using it already. But it is called the Dandy Garden um, designer series paper. And it the colors in it are basic black, blackberry bliss, Bumblebee, Calypso Coral, Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow, and Whisper White. And I'm going to show you. You get 12 sheets with two designs on each. So this is the... Well, actually, let's do it this way. Right? Oh, no. I'm sorry. This way. So on one side, you get basically um, white and whatever other color they chose to use. Of the stripes this is my favorite piece out of all of the sheets with the bumblebees on it <laughs> of course of course then we have that one then you flip them over and you have all of the I guess these are dandelion they're kind of weed looking things with the um, flowers I'm not sure what those are I'm not a flower person as far as knowing the names. This one has little dragonfly prints on it. This is the sheet we're gonna be using today. More dragonflies. And I know you might wondering if this punch matches this. I think you can cut out the dragonfly, the bigger dragonflies, but not the small one. It does not coordinate with the small one. So let's see. Yes, you can punch out the big dragonflies, but it will not coordinate on this paper with the um, small dragonflies. This is a pretty sheet, too. I love that um, misty moonlight in the background on that card. I'm on this sheet of designer series paper. Here's another one that's similar to this one, but the dragonflies are bigger. Okay. This is a neat looking one. And look at that. So all of them don't necessarily have dragonflies on them, so you can use them in various ways. And this is a very bold Calypso Coral sheet. That is all of the papers. And all of this will be in the January to June 2021 mini catalog. So you have a good little ways to wait. But let's go ahead and get started on the card we're going to be making today. I am using Mossy Metal Card Base, and this is um, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. I have some Bumblebee that I've already um, embossed. And this is cut at, what is this? Three, should be four. Yeah, four by five and a quarter. And I've embossed that with the Tasteful Textile 3D Embossing Folder. 
Then we have a strip of the designer series paper cut to two inches. Now I left it at six inches, but we don't need the full six inches, but it's um, cut to two. Then I have a scrap of whisper white, just something big enough to stamp your dragonfly and um, one other small image. So this is about two and a half by four and a half. Then I have um, two circle dies that I did one with the stitched circles and one with the layering circles. And I embossed this one with the ornate floral. This is the ornate floral embossing folder and this is the tasteful textiles embossing folder. So I use these two on this project. Then I have some mossy metal here that is one inch and the length doesn't really matter at this moment because we're gonna cut it down. And this is a three quarters of an inch. And also on this one, we'll be cutting it down. Okay, so that's all the pieces that we're gonna be using. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm not sure what the name of this card, like the style, but it's gonna be looking like we're gonna, um, like something is a sun ray burst is coming out of it or something, I'm not sure. So we're gonna take our trimmer and we're gonna cut this piece down to an angle. So I want it to stay wide on one end, but go to get smaller on this end. So I'm just gonna cut some off. I'm gonna put the tip of this in the cutter and then this one just over a bit to cut some off. And we're gonna do the same thing here. So I'm gonna put the tip into the cutter and this one we're gonna angle just a little to cut some off. Okay. These pieces you can keep them if you want or just discard them because we don't need it for this project. Let's get rid of our trimmer. Okay, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna have this come in this way on our um, cardstock. And I'm gonna have this circle over it. So we don't need it to come all the way to the end. So if you want, you can do it like this. As long as your circle is gonna cover it, you can have it like this. If you want it to be wider on this end, you just go down like this, okay? And I do want it to be wider, so I'm just gonna take some scissors and cut a little bit off of this side so that I can push it down more and it won't be in the way of my circle, okay? So I'm gonna adhere this. And as you can see, I did um, emboss this at an angle because I only wanted one portion of it embossed. Oh, I shouldn't have put the glue all over the back of that. Where's my silicone mat? because part of this is gonna be hanging off and we need to cut it. And you wanna make sure you get it far enough here so the edge does not, so it hangs off the edge of your thing. Let me get my gunky scissors to cut this off. And we're gonna take some of that ribbon and we're gonna just border it along this, right? Just like that on both sides. So I'm just gonna put a little thin strip of glue going down both sides. I'm gonna go over this um, edge a little bit and let it hang. I'm just gonna cut this right here. And do the same thing up here. And you wanna make sure you get it really close to the paper. take this and trim it that way we know it's exactly the right size that we need okay and then we're going to adhere our embossed circle to our stitched circle just like that 
that. And then we'll go ahead and adhere, well, before we adhere it, let's do some stamping. Let me get these scissors out of the way. Okay, so I am going to use this little, the little dragonfly uh, cluster. And I'm gonna be stamping this in Versamark. I should have had that ready. Let's see. I only want one image of this. And we're gonna put it about right here. Oh, that's really light. You can barely see it, but it's there. We're gonna emboss it with clear embossing powder. And that'll make it show up a lot better. Let me get my heat tool. Excuse the noise, I will fast forward through this portion. Okay, it's all embossed. Now let's clean up this so we won't make a mess. Get it out the way. Okay. So that's done. Now we can go ahead and adhere our circle. Actually, let's put this on our card base first. That way we'll know how far our circle can go over. I wanna get plenty of glue on this part that's textured. Let's see, make sure we have our card opening the right way. Glue, 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 get off my fingers. Oh boy. Didn't see that. This is why I like the liquid glue because I'm able to move stuff around. Because you guys know, me and straight, you don't get along that well. Okay, so now I'm just going to put some glue on the back of our circle we're gonna have it hang off the edge just up until the um you hit the edge of the mossy metal cardstock let's move this up a bit about right there okay and then we're gonna take um our white cardstock. We're gonna stamp our dragonfly and early espresso. Let me just stamp this right here. And then we have this image is like to fill in the um, the wings. And we're gonna stamp that in. What is this old olive so and we're gonna stamp this off to put it on the wing so I'm gonna stamp it over here and then maybe one more time over here because that's kind of dark yes then we'll just eyeball it because it's gonna be more of an artsy look that I want We'll stamp it twice again over here. Turn it and stamp it on our other wings over there. Okay. That's it for this color. And we'll take our punch. And punch out our dragonfly. Just line that up. Let me make sure I'm getting it good and even. Down a little bit more. Okay, and I'm gonna punch out a small dragonfly from this side. Mm, just trying to find a good color combination. I like that, the little sketchy one. Okay. 
So we use that to stamp off as well as stamp our, um, <laughs> for our small dragonfly. Then I have some Wink of Stella. I'm gonna add it to the leaves. I mean, not the leaves, the wings. I'm gonna add it to this one as well. And I'm gonna take the um, Early Espresso Stampin' Right marker and I'm just gonna draw in the, um, the body, and just color it in. So the head, and then just a line down for the body. Okay. Then we're gonna take our Bumblebee strip and we have the sentiment, thank you for your kindness. And we're gonna stamp that in Mossy Meadow. We want this to go more towards the right. Try to get it straight. That doesn't look too straight to me. So I'm going to turn that over, do it again. Okay. It's just about as crooked as the first one. No, it's a little better. And for this, we are going to be using the Lovely Labels Pick-A-Punch. Which side did I say? This side. Okay. Then we have our Mossy Metal 1-inch piece, and we're going to do the same thing. Let me turn it over because that, that went in crooked. Ooh, goodness, it went in real crooked. I'm happy I didn't punch it. Okay. And then we're just going to layer these and cut them down. So this one, I know, let me close this ink up. So I already see, I'm going to make a mess. Get my little mini guillotine trimmer. I'm just going to use it to cut, cut this down. I just wanted it to cut very close to the edge here. And we're gonna glue these together. Try to get it even spaced from top and bottom and from this edge there. Let that sit for a second while it we're gonna take our wings and kind of just curl them up on our dragonfly and put glue straight down the body and put him flying on his circle. Just like that. Okay, then we're gonna take this with our mini trimmer again. And we're just going to cut off the end of this, leaving a little border. Try to make it as even as you can. If it doesn't, it's fine. Okay, and then we're just going to adhere this. Oh, you know what I did? I did it the wrong way. I wanted it to be this way. Hmm. I'll be right back and I'm gonna do this again so that I can have it done the right way. Okay, I did another strip the right way. I didn't find, I was just looking through scraps and I got a piece of the Mossy Metal. It was a little smaller than one inch, so it looks like it's about an eighth of an inch bigger than the three quarter inch piece. But we're just gonna glue that down here to the side, right here, just like that. And we're gonna take our tiny dragonfly, and put him going that direction, since this one is going that way. We're just gonna put him right there, in that spot, okay. That is our card. How do you like it? I 
think it's cute. Nice and simple. Used almost everything in the, um, the suite except for the ladybugs. We'll do that next time. <laughs> so I like it. I hope you like it too. That is it for today. This is all, the Dandy Dragonfly Garden Suite of Products. Let me show you everything again. And the trinkets and the punch. Along with all of the, the paper. Okay? Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I want to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later.